Hey everyone, I have a, a neat little thing I want to show you and um, it's really cool for people that really like the shabby chic. It really can add to it and plus you can make your own colors. Sometimes you can't find the perfect color in something that you want to add to your creation. So what you'll need for what I'm going to um, talk to you about is Aileen's Tacky Glue. Here, Aileen's Tacky Glue. You can use Pond's Coal Cream. I just had this Cocoa Butter Cream. And really, I think it's the lanolin in it that you need. But anyway, anything like a face cream that takes off your makeup. Paint, whatever color you want that you're going to be using for your craft. And a piece of white bread not wheat, not sourdough, a piece of just regular white bread like Wonder Bread. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Wonder Bread. What you do is you take off the crust of the piece of bread, get a cup, like a Solo cup that you can throw away. You put in one tablespoon of the glue, one tiny little bit, probably the size of a eraser, pencil eraser, of the lanolin, and about four drops of whatever paint you're going to want to use. Don't, don't put more because it'll get too sticky and you won't be able to mold the dough once um, you get it done if you put too much. Once you get that done, you take a stick, popsicle stick, chopstick, whatever, and you stir it really good. Then you put it in your hand and you're going to knead it. And what you're going to get after you're done is bread dough. And you're going to be able to manipulate this. And with that, you will be able to make porcelain flowers. What I did is I used some ivory paint and then some and then I pulled off a little bit of the dough and put some of the green paint and just kept kneading it into it until it was all through it. So here's one. Here's a larger one. Here's more of a smaller without the leaf. Here's a rosebud and another rosebud. And I just wanted to show you the different sizes. I made some of these so I could show you. Look at the different sizes that you can make from these. So now I'm going to show you how to make one. All right, my dough, of course, obviously, it's already been kneaded. <clears throat> Excuse me. And keep it in a baggie. Keep it tightly tightly uh, wrapped up because it will dry out. These are almost dried. So what you're going to do is you're going to just make it into a ball, take a piece off, not a big piece, size of a pea. Well, depending on how, how big you want the flower. Okay, so you're going to roll it. Then you're going to Smush it out. That's my word, smush. Okay. For the bud, you're going to take this and you're just going to roll it. Okay, here you have the inside part. Okay. You're going to, oh, you're going to take another pea size, smush it, and get it as thin as you possibly can. It makes it more realistic and it makes it look more like a porcelain once it dries. By the way, these air dry. Like I said, that's why I said to keep your uh, dough in something that's airtight or a plastic bag. Something that's going to keep it tight. Again. 
And then you're going to come about halfway around and keep and keep it up high so you don't want it too low when you're making the bud. And no flower is going to be exactly the same. And speaking of flowers, <clears throat> if some of you are good with sculpting, you could make pansies, daisies, whatever out of this dough. I've just made roses, but you could do whatever you want. Okay, bringing it up, bringing it over. Okay, so I've got a bud now. You can make it more of a closed rose or more of a tight. It just depends on what you want. I'm not going to make mine real big just for the sake of this video. This is the first petal. You have your bud in there. This is the first petal. Just about halfway from the first one I did. I don't know if you can see that or not, but okay. You don't want the dough to, like I said, you don't want to add too much paint or um, the lanolin, this, because it'll get way too sticky and you won't be able to get it off your hands to form anything. Okay, there's my third. Well, maybe I'll do one more. And then I want to make a leaf to show you. So here you've got one, two, and here's the last one. And there you go. Now, I'm going to put this back in the bag because it will dry out that quick. And this is where I told you I took off a piece and <clears throat> put some of the green so that's separate. And then to do the leaf, all I did was, okay, I mean, you could take an X-Acto knife and you could cut it exact. I just, you know, I kind of fake it. Okay, so I take it like this. Then I take a piece of um, floral wire. I make a crease and a couple of lines for the stem. I mean for the stem, for the leaf. And then you can put it on. And if you don't want to put it on right then and there, because if you do it'll dry that way. and it'll, So it, it'll adhere to the rose. But if you don't want to, you can just glue it. So anyway, try these and I'll show you what I'm going to do with a couple of these. I'm doing a altered bottle for my um, group. And I'll bring that back. It's a altered bottle challenge. See that fell off. I didn't push it in good enough. Anyway, so Try it and um, leave me a comment and tell me how it turns out, okay? All right, talk to you soon. Bye.